I have my LTC, which is a license to carry. And I live in Houston, Texas, so I carry 100% of the time. I'm Letty Celeste, and I'm gonna give you my feedback on my experiences with the Flashbang holster. Um, it fits in your bra between the straps, and it needs about five inches. This leather strap would clip around the center of any bra, and it would attach to the Kydex holster. Then you would be able to slide any gun. You would hear it clip in. This part with the clip would go against your chest, like this, and the handle would hang down, so you would just reach up under your shirt, flash, bang. Kind of cute. Um, it fits in any bra, and it even fits in sports bras and um, bikini tops, which I've tried, and there's no difference. You can actually wear it like that, just in case, you never know. They have about 90 models that they make guns for, I mean, that they make the holsters for on the Flashbang website, and they are about $49.95 per holster. Now, I've got three of these. I've got one for my baby that I always wear, which is my SIG 238. This is the smallest gun I own, so this is usually the one on me. I've got one for my Bursa Thunder on me, and I don't really wear that a whole lot because it's a Bursa. And then I've got one for my Glock, and I don't really wear that as often as I wear my SIG, mostly because this is a smaller gun, and it's just um, more comfortable for me to hold. So if you've seen my Instagram stories or my Snapchat stories, you'll know that all of the other time I wear holsters by 3i holsters. I say that because I've kind of gotten spoiled because they've been so secure and durable. I'm um, a pretty rough Latina, so I am not too graceful, kind of like a rhino. And they've never broken. I've never had issues. And 3i is a veteran-owned company, so I know that they pride themselves on their creativity, their work, their durability, and they give a lifetime guarantee. <clears throat> All of that brings me to this. A few days ago, mira, se quebró todo. My holster? Yeah, the one I use all the time. Pieces everywhere in downtown Houston. Screws, tornillos everywhere. So I'm going to contact Flashbang tomorrow and see what they can do to get me the pieces that are in the streets of Houston at this point. Now, I'm wearing the Burst of Thunder on me. And as you can tell from the front of the t-shirt, it's a t-shirt, you're not gonna be able to tell much. From the side, eh, not so much. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from a thinner shirt, which would be a more fitted shirt, that you can, you can see the um, imprint of it from the front a little. You can see it right here. From the side, you would be able to tell it sticks out a little bit. It's not completely hidden. And then from the side, you can see a little bit better that this is the handle, the barrel is on this side. Again, it's sitting like this in my shirt. Um, if it did, push it up. Yeah. And it's still a little visible. Not much, though. So, um, I know the two concerns that I've heard from people regarding the way that this is an option to carry is, one, you don't want to shoot your boobs off, and two, you don't have room for anything else in here. I understand. The first concern is... Um, easily put to rest when you realize that anytime you carry, you need to be at the range practicing. You need to dry fire at night with the weapon. You need to pretend that you're in a situation where you needed it immediately. Could you get it? You want to make sure that you are familiar with your holster and with the gun that you carry, especially if it's on your body or you're carrying it daily. And the guns are not magical, so trigger's not going to pull itself. The Kydex has a cover over the trigger, so the guard would make it hard to actually pull it while it's in there. The trigger is not accessible when it's inside my shirt. When I pull it out, as it comes out, the finger falls into place on the barrel, so even then, it would be about 80% out of the holster before you would have access to the trigger, which is why you should practice with the holster that you use daily. And the second concern is there's no room in here. I understand completely. You would think there's not room for a gun this size or larger, especially a Glock, to fit in here. But it doesn't move, shake, or bounce anything any more than life normally does, ladies. I promise. You'd be surprised how quickly you can get used to um, carrying there. 
it took me about a week to wear this daily <coughs> to figure out that uh, it's normal. That's its home, it goes there, I am safe. Now I also carry appendix carry and um, in the waistband carry. And again, even with those, you would need to get used to it by practicing. So I don't personally carry in my purse because my thought is if I'm in a situation, somebody is going to try to take something from me or hurt me, what would they do? Would, is it easier to take all of this and lift me up? No, it's easier to steal my purse, which is where my gun would be, which I would be devastated if that happened. And then now I've given a gun to a horrible person that just jacked me, you know? That's why I carry on me. This is also the reason I advise not carrying in your car unless absolutely necessary. You have an LTC, you have you know knowledge of gun safety, carry on you. Use that 2A right that you have in the US. I have in the waistband carry from 3I, appendix carry from 3I, but this is my other option that I use, like I said, for two years. It's been a great help with different options for my outfits. A lot of times with dressier clothes, I'll wear this option. I am hoping to get this fixed quickly because this is a much lighter gun than the Burst of Thunder. And let me show you what it looks like to remove it. You would stick your hand at the bottom of your shirt, yank down, and just like that, bam. Your gun comes out, your fingers on the barrel fall in place to the trigger, ta-da. You didn't have to remove everything, and it's actually pretty um, hidden. Nobody would think that you would pull a gun out of your shirt, which is why it's called flashbang. I've been called the designated distraction, so that's my job. Shit goes down, things go wrong. I am going to look like I'm flashing somebody and pull out the weapon that's in my shirt. I know that, um, it's been another option and a great help for me to have different varieties of guns to carry. And I hope that you carry daily and wish you best of luck with all of your time at the gun range. Thanks.